Hi, Peter here from Wonderstruck. In this video, we're going to show you how to make your very own epic space battle sounds using nothing but a slinky. Now, the last thing that usually comes to mind when you're thinking epic space battle is a slinky spring. Uh, they're much more closely associated with their awesome ability to do this, to walk downstairs, and you may also have seen them in a science lesson where they might be used to demonstrate how a longitudinal wave propagates through the air, a sound wave, something like that. But they also have this other incredible property, and that is to replicate the sound of a science fiction laser beam space battle. Now, this apparently was something that George Lucas knew about in the 1970s and probably other filmmakers of that time making science fiction films. And the effects, apparently, that are used in the original Star Wars films come from the humble slinky spring. Now, it's a very easy thing to do. Uh, if you just want to do this the low-tech way, what you have to do is just get two bits of string and tie them to the ends of your slinky. So once you've tied the string on, all you do is you find the ends of the string, you wrap them around your fingers a few times, don't have to do it this many times, I've just made the string a bit long. And then you get your fingers and you put them, you don't really want to put them in your ears because then they get all waxy and they taste horrible when you put them in your mouth. Uh, but you just put your fingers over your ears and then just do this. Now, it looks a bit stupid, uh, but what you can hear through your fingers and through the string is completely different to what you can hear on the outside, if you like. On the outside, you can just hear metal jingling, uh, but when you've got your fingers in your ears, uh, it sounds completely different. Now, you don't have to take my word for it, because there is a slightly more high-tech way of doing this, where you can share the wonder of the sounds with your friend. So, OK, if you want to do this in a slightly more high-tech way, you're going to need a few bits of kit. Nothing too outlandish. What you want is a speaker, an amplifier. Now, we're also going to need a pre-amplifier because the microphone we're going to use is giving out a very low signal, so you need to amplify it a bit before it actually goes into the main amplifier. And the microphone itself is a contact mic here. Now, these are used for guitars and things like that. You just stick them onto the guitar and then wire them up to a preamp and an amplifier. So they're quite cheap, they're little piezoelectric discs. Uh, and I fitted it to my slinky by getting a couple of aluminium plates, just happened to be laying around in the workshop. I've slid the plate in between the first two coils of the slinky, fixed that in position with a couple of bits of copper wire, and then just taped the mic onto it. You can actually stick them on, but the sticky thing they come with is very strong, so once you've got the mic on there, it won't come off again. Uh, you don't need the second plate, I just put that there, because I could. Um, and then I've just put a couple of uh, hooks in to the workshop so we can hang this thing up like so there we go now everything's turned on all we need to do is just turn the amplifier up and what we get is quite unexpected 